People ask me about the voices all the time. They're like, do you do that just on stage or do you do that in public too? I'm like, no, of course I do the voices in public. I have to make myself laugh. <laughs> you know, I like doing the voices in places where people can't see me. Like drive throughs <laughs> Oh, I'm evil at a drive through man, except the one by my house because they know me. <laughs> I mean, they really know me. I could show up at 2 in the morning or 2 in the afternoon, you know. <laughs> Welcome to McDonald's. How can I help you? Yeah, let me have... Pull up. I did an order. Gabriel, pull up. <laughs> Whatever. Other places I've had fun, I hop. Some of you, I hop? Yeah, let me explain this one. Next time you go to an IHOP, look for the podium. Usually on the weekends, they'll have the podium set up right at the front door. And when you walk in, they'll have a host, and they'll ask you, how many in your party? And you tell them, two, three, four, whatever the case. And then when it's time for your seats, they'll call you with the little freaking, you know, they got the microphone on the side of the wall, and they'll go, paging party of four, paging party of four, now serving. When that party walked away, I grabbed her microphone, and I said, Paging Mexican party of 47, Mexican party of 47, now serving. And the whole restaurant was like. <laughs> All the guys in the kitchen, <laughs> orale way! <laughs> Hell yeah. I love IHOP. I go too much, you guys. I was at an IHOP one time during an earthquake. It wasn't a big one. It was enough to feel it but not freak out, you know. I live in California, so we get them a lot. But if you're not used to that, you're like, ah, earthquake, you know, and I'm sitting there, and I just wrote it out, you know. <laughs> oh, freaking earthquakes, man. You got to choose which one you want, you know, you want. Earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes, fires, floods. I live in California. I'll take the earthquakes. You can sleep through them, you know? And then whenever they happen, you never believe it's an earthquake. You're like, is it an earthquake or a big truck? <laughs> uh, seriously, you'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh, my God. Smell, 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 smell. <laughs> But seriously, you can go to work and people are talking about how they were sleeping, you know? Did you feel that tremor last night? <laughs> you can't sleep through a tornado or a hurricane. And I said that down south and people were like, yeah, you can. I said, not if it hits your house. <laughs> I've never seen that interview, you know. Sir, what happened to your home? I don't know what happened. See, I woke up this morning and this son bitch was flipped over. That's the darnest thing. You know, I got a truck in the tree. My dog is down the street. I can't find my wife, but that's for a whole nother reason altogether. I, don't... I was asleep. Sir, you were asleep? Damn right I was asleep. I got me one of them temper pedics over there. <laughs> Get her done. That's what I'm saying right there. I love that impression, you guys. I love doing that. Every time I do it, somebody's like, hey, that's the redneck cable guy. 